Hey, what's going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today, I'm going to transform this uh, ugly little letter into something really fancy, you know, something more three-dimensional. First thing, I'm going to vectorize this. So I'm going to select this JPEG that I just made in Photoshop. I'm going to go to the layers, going to lock it, and I'm going to create a new layer. Actually, I'm going to unlock it and decrease the opacity so it's going to be more transparent lock it again go to layer two i'm going to swap uh fill to stroke i'm going to select the color magenta pen tool and i'm going to start the process of vectorizing and from here i'm going to create these other lines so i'm gonna start from this for example I'm gonna end here basically i'm gonna cut these you know so it is going to be like separate as you can see i created this i'm gonna go all the way around and i'm gonna go to the pathfinder and click on the divide i'm gonna right click on group delete this one so these also can be like separated so and this is going to be the new process you know of separating everything I gotta go and select the direct selection tool and drag from these little circles and make them rounded. Gonna do the same thing, gonna select these two anchor points. So it's gonna look more interesting. Okay, so finally I got the number two stylized and it looks kind of funky. I'm gonna select all, swap from stroke to fill. I'm going to click on the field and I'm going to color these. So I'm going to need to apply the 3D effect uh, one by one. So for example, I'm going to select one shape. I'm going to go to the 3D object, 3D materials. If you don't have 3D materials, go to windows and select the 3D materials. And I'm going to activate the inflate and I'm going to do the same with the rest. And this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of these videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.